The Farmer and the Clown Story by Marla Frazzi Narration by Mrs. C A Wordless Picture Story Home. You know where it is when you're there, but sometimes you get a bit separated from home and you may need a little help finding your way back. Once there was a farmer, he lived alone except for his animals and the big black crows that flew over him as he worked. He worked very hard every day. One day, as he was in his field, he heard the sound of a train passing by. He stopped to look. It was a circus train. Suddenly, something flew out from the caboose. What could it be? The farmer was so surprised and very curious. He began to walk toward the train tracks. He saw something very small with a red point on top. He was confused, but he continued to walk forward. He stopped as the small something turned to him. It was a cute little clown with a big smile. The little clown continued to smile as he told the farmer his story. He explained that he was part of the circus traveling on the train to the city to perform. He told the farmer that he was practicing his somersaults for the show when he bounced very far and flew right out of the train. Then he dropped his head as if he were sad. But when the little clown looked up again, he was still smiling and he ran to hug the farmer. He was thankful that he was no longer alone. The farmer seemed a bit surprised to be getting a hug. Maybe that's because his animals never hugged him. The farmer took the little smiling clown by the hand. It seemed like the right thing to do. He couldn't leave him all alone. The little clown continued to smile. The day was ending and the sun was setting as the farmer and the little smiling clown walked toward the farmhouse. The cow and the rooster and the hens were surprised to see that the farmer had someone with him. The farmer and the clown sat by the window and talked as the sun went down. It was time for supper, so the farmer and the little clown sat together at the table. The little clown did not want to eat. After supper, the farmer filled a wooden tub with water and washed the day's work from his face. The smiling little clown washed too. When he stood up, the farmer could see that the little boy that had been dressed as a clown was not smiling. He was really a sad little boy that missed his family and friends from the circus. The farmer tucked the little boy into a cozy bed and put his pointy clown hat on the bedpost where he could see it. The farmer sat in a chair nearby all night long, so the little boy would not feel all alone.
As the sun rose in the morning, the little boy sat up in the bed. The farmer knew that he was still sad, so he made a funny face to try and make him smile again. Since that didn't work, the farmer hid his face in his farmer hat and played peekaboo. The boy did not smile. So then the farmer began to march and dance. He crouched down low and sprang up as best he could, trying to leap in the air just as the little boy clown had showed him yesterday. This made the little boy smile. It reminded him of his family and friends in the circus and it made him feel happy. He jumped up onto the shoulders of the farmer and off they went. The little clown felt at home. The farmer and the little clown boy sat together for breakfast. This time the little boy ate all of his food. After breakfast, the farmer taught the little boy how to milk the cow. Then they went to the hen house to collect the eggs and the little clown showed the farmer how to juggle. The farmer tried too, but he wasn't very good at it. This made the hens very nervous. Then the farmer showed the little clown how to bale the hay in the fields. Now both of them worked very hard. Before long, both of them were very tired and very hot. The farmer and the little clown agreed that they should take a break and have a picnic lunch. Suddenly, as they sat in the shade under the tree, they heard the sound of a train whistle. They looked and they saw that it was the circus train heading back from the city. The farmer and the little clown held hands and ran as fast as they could toward the train tracks. They got to the tracks before the train passed and they waited for it to come by. The little clown boy was so excited. When the clowns on the train saw them, they stopped. They were excited too. All the clowns came out of the train car to greet the farmer and the little clown. The mommy clown was so, so happy to have found her little boy and she hugged him with so much love in her heart. Even the little monkey clown was happy to see the little boy again. The little boy ran back to the farmer. He was smiling so big and the farmer was smiling big too. He was happy that the little boy had found his family and he knew he was home again. The little clown boy and the farmer hugged too. They knew that they were good friends and they felt love in their hearts. The farmer took off his hat 
and the little boy's clown hat. He bent down and he kissed him on his head. The farmer waved a long goodbye to his little friend. The little boy waved a long goodbye to his farmer friend from the clown train. The boy wore the farmer's hat to remember him always. And the farmer wore the little boy's pointy red clown hat to remember him always too. And the little monkey quietly walked behind the farmer all the way to the farmhouse with his finger to his little monkey lips saying, This may be the end of the book, but it is not the end of this story. What do you think might happen next?